Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm excited to share with you my updated tutorial for one of my most popular videos. Make your desktop look clean and professional in just 12 minutes. In that video, I showed you how to change the cursor style, transform the Windows taskbar into a slick dock, add clean widgets to the desktop, and how to set up a live wallpaper. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, don't worry, I've included a link to it in the video description below. Trust me, it truly is a great video. Oh, and if you're curious about the wallpaper on my desktop, make Make sure to click on the first link in the video description and while you are down there drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already with that said let's begin now let's kick things off with the live wallpaper now the app which we are going to use is called lively wallpaper application which is completely free and open source and you can download this application from the microsoft store so once on microsoft store search for the lively wallpaper click on the app here and you can install it by clicking on the get button right here alternatively you can also install this application from the github so if you go to this link which i will also put in the video description right below the like button once on this website you will scroll down and click on dot xf file but i think that it's much more convenient installing the lively wallpaper app from the microsoft store once you have this app installed you will click on open on the microsoft store and once you have it opened you will see the screen which looks something like this now we will still need to right now download the custom wallpaper for this application so let's open your web browser and go to this video description and click on this link so this is the custom image which we are going to use for our live wallpaper now once on unsplash.com click on this green button on the top right and click here on the original size and this should start the download of the wallpaper itself now let's go here back to the lively wallpaper application and for this rain wallpaper if you click on it you will apply the live wallpaper on your desktop so if you want to customize it you will click on three dots right here and then you will click on the customize here once you will see this menu you will click on this icon right here so we can browse here for the image which we downloaded from the unsplash.com now we will navigate to the downloads folder and click on the image which we got from unsplash click on open here and now here we have a few of the parameters which we want to configure like intensity speed brightness and so and so on here i will increase the brightness to let's say 90 percent scroll down i will select here blur quality to low Blur intensity, I will put this one to 10. I will disable the parallax effect by putting it to zero. And now the important thing is if you have a laptop, then make sure that you have this 30 FPS lock option checked. If you have a desktop, you can uncheck this option and the live wallpaper will be much, much smoother. Now, once you are happy with your settings, you can click on OK here. And then you can also click on the X on the lively wallpaper app. This lively wallpaper app will live inside your system tray so you can always access it if you go here to the system tray click on this arrow and you will see the lively wallpaper right here so this is our live wallpaper now let's move on to the cursor now once you are on the deviantart.com i will also put a link for it in the video description here you will go to this input field and to be able to download things you will of course need to have an account and now on the input field you will search for windows 11 cursor Press on enter and if you scroll down you will find this one by Jeffrey Creations. This is not the one which we are going to use. We will need to go to his account right here and click on this one right here. Now once we are on this website you will click on free download button right here and now you should have this .zip file. You can click here on this icon to go to your downloads folder. And make sure that you here select that zip file which you got from deviantart.com click on the extract all and then once again on the extract to extract the cursor pack now here you have two options basically if you want the light version of the cursor or you can also apply the dark version as well which i'm going right now with for this tutorial so open the folder and you will see this file called install so here you will right click on it and you will basically click on the install and this should install install your brand new cursor pack once you have the cursor installed you can navigate then to the start menu here in the input field search for the mouse click on this option called change the mouse pointer display or speed and here go to the pointers and now you will select the mouse cursor which you just installed in my case it's called windows 11 free tile but it's not necessary that your cursor 
will be called that way. So click on this one and click on the apply and click on OK. And now let's move on to the dock. Now, unfortunately, the free versions of the dock aren't currently supported or aren't working well with the latest version of Windows 11, which is 23H2. So we will need to find an alternative version, which is unfortunately paid, but it works very, very well. This one is called Start All Back. So I will also put a link to it in the video description below. Now, once on this website, you can go to download and click on this button to get the .exe file. And you can also see that this application is for only $5. In my opinion, it's totally worth it. And it also fixes your start menu as well as the taskbar. Now, once you have the .exe file, you will click on it. And here down below, you will click on install for everyone. Now on the welcome screen, you will click here on proper 11 and then you will navigate to the taskbar in the left menu. Now here, make sure that you select here combine taskbar buttons to always hide labels. Select here centered task icons. Select also here segments and make sure that in the segment select here just central segment and down below you can also enable dynamic transparency. Now this is pretty much it for the dock. We can also navigate right now to the Windows settings and here I will go to the personalization. Let's go to the colors here and I will select for the mode the dark mode for windows and now the dock should also change its color and this is basically it now let's move on with the widgets so here on the web browser search for the rain meter click on this website i will also put this link in the video description by the way and click on the download button to get the installer file click on it click on ok here click next here and then click on the install and click on finish now the rain meter should run and now let's open the firefox once again or your browser of choice and search for the mond rain meter skin click on the first link which is called visualskins.com and down below you will see this download button but don't please go away of this website we will need to go to the input field on the top and search for the mii power click on enter here and then click on this download blue download button and now we can also go to next skin which is called Monterey rain meter and go to this github page and let's go here to the releases and here make sure to click on the .rm skin file now once you have all these three skins you will go to your downloads folder and let's start with the mont rain meter skin so double left click on it and click on the install and you can here close the settings and now we have a few of the pre-installed skins now you will right click on which one you don't like and click on unload skin and basically repeat the process for every single skin which you want to remove right now i will customize this first skin so you will need to right click on the skin and then you will click here edit the skin and now i would only like to have the name of the day here so here down below i will scroll down and here we will need to remove meter date we will also need to remove this meter 12 hour clock as well as meter 24 hour clock now we are only left with meter day here and we will also need to change the scale of the widget as well because in my opinion it's too small so here we will need to change from 1.06 to let's say something bigger like 1.75 and then you will go here to the file and click on the save now we can close Close the text editor and go to the skin click on the refresh right here if you want to change the color of the skin you will right click on it you will go here to the mont go here to the settings and click on the settings.ini and this will open the settings configurator and now here we have the text color option and i will change this to the black like so but you can pick your personal preference for the color as well click on ok and then you can close the settings and now let's move on with the mii power rain meter skin so we will need to install it which is the same process as for any other skin just click on the install and that's pretty much it 
it. Now we will need to open the rain meter. So because we cannot find the system tray in the bottom right corner, we will need to full screen one application like the browser of choice. And let's go here to this to this arrow and let's click on the rain meter. Now let's navigate to MII power. Here, go to the power folder and here you have two versions of MII power skin. So the first one is black and the W stands for white. I will go with the black version so you will double left click on it and the skin should appear on your desktop. Now with this skin, I will move it here down below like so. And now let's go with the next skin, which is Monterey Rain Meter. So install it. And then we have here a few of the widgets which we can pick from. I will go with the clock skin, with the calendar skin, with notes and the reminders. Now let's go here to the appearance. You will need to set this theme to the blur and now we can close this settings. I will put the reminders widget somewhere here on the right. For the notes I will put it below and then make sure that you right click on it and put here the white option. And for the calendar I will move it somewhere here next to the reminders as well as on top of the notes widget. For the clock, I will move it somewhere here next to the MII power skin. You will need to right click on it and here select the white option. And that is pretty much it for this customization. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel as well, and all the required files will be linked in the video description below. Thank you again for watching, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!